Does anybody hear this book? It's, I highly recommend it, um, readers of books. Uh, uh, it's, it's a big one. It's like the fucking telephone book, but way more interesting. It's, yeah, yeah, the, the, yes, indeed, it's, this book came out actually just prior to the reversal, the temporary reversal of Roe v. Wade. Um, but it's, uh, it's a history, it's a history of that victory of everything and everyone that, the, yeah. And um, anyway, it's a really fascinating book. Really fascinating. You have no fucking idea about all these twisted stories that came together and made that event. And um, anyway, the seed of the inspiration for the book by this fellow, Josh Prager, he spent 20 years researching and writing this book. Um, and the seed of curiosity that led him following that ball into the woods was the realization that the, that the baby, that the victory in the Texas courts and then in the Supreme Courts that led to Roe v. Wade um, took longer than the gestation period of the baby. So that baby got born, which is not something that people really occurred to us. But then it, it, it occurred to Josh, and so he went and found her. She's about my age, she's 50, 50 something. <laughs> 50 some, I mean, of course, the case was 1972, right? So, um, 50, yeah. So, she, uh, she and her two sisters, who only met as adults and only found out the significance of their birth as adults. They were adopted women. They, um, they were all unwanted. Their mother was forced, her mother before her was forced, her mother before her was forced. She comes from a long line of suffering. And anyway, you can read the fucking book. I should shut up and just tell you the one thing that I'm here to tell you, which is the seed of this song, which is that all three of Jane Rowe's children are pro-choice. Shit. 